applications of systems of linear equations. So basically this one is how to set up the equations when you're given a word problem. So how to tackle those word problems, especially when they look lengthy and there's a lot of stuff in there. There's four easy steps to kind of guide you through this process. Step one, read the problem. And I know that sounds silly, but read it all the way through. Don't take notes, just read it and try to absorb what the problem's about. In this case, you're really looking for two items in there that are being compared or discussed. Maybe it's hot dogs and hamburgers or a large picture frame and a small picture frame. Try to figure out what your two variables are. Step two, you're gonna start translating that word problem into equations. And that's what we're gonna look at in this PowerPoint. You should be writing two separate equations for, in this step using the same two variables. Now, I tend to like X and Y because I'm a math person, but you can use any two letters that you would like that might help you keep track of the items being discussed. So if you're talking about hot dogs and burgers, maybe you want to use H and B. It doesn't matter. You're still going to find the same answer every time, but use letters that you're comfortable with. Step three, now that you have your two equations, this is where you're going to use the substitution or elimination method. So I'm not going to finish the problem all the way through in this PowerPoint slide, but you can hop over to the other video on systems of linear equations to see both of those methods fully worked. And then the last step, check your work. The easiest way to do this is take those two final answers that you found, whether it's your answers for X and Y, and you can plug them back into either one of the original equations to check. When you plug them in, simplify both sides. If both sides are equal, you got the right answer. You're good to go. If you plug them in and both sides don't equal, it means something went wrong somewhere. Go back to the beginning and look through all of your work. Check your signs, check your numbers, check your math. So here's an example of one type that you might see. This one says tickets of an art exhibit cost $5 for general admission and $3 for a child's ticket. If 184 people paid to see the exhibit and $850 was collected, how many of each type of ticket was sold? So we read through the problem and it looks like we have two different tickets here. We've got general admission tickets and we've got children tickets. Now you can do any variable you want. I'm gonna go in this case, let's go with G and C. So general admission and child's ticket. Sometimes when you pick variables like this that help you keep track of which one's which, will help you when you're plugging in your answers online, know which one is which. Because if we plug them in flip-flop, it'll get marked wrong. So we've gotta keep track of how many general admission versus how many children tickets were sold. Now we gotta start writing equations here. In cases like this, when we know the cost of each item, one of our equations can be based on just how many tickets. So if we add up how many tickets of general admission plus how many tickets of children tickets were sold, we know that this is going to equal 184. That's how many tickets were sold. That was given information. So one equation is based on the quantity. How many of each type equals what the total was they told us. Now the second equation is going to deal with all our money. How much it is per ticket and how much total was being collected. So for general admission, they were $5 each. So we're going to do 5 times G. And for children's tickets, it's 3 times C. And when we add that all up together, we have $850. Those are our two equations. Now we can either use substitution or elimination, both will work here, to find out what G and then also what C are going to equal. So let's try another one. It's a little bit of a different setup with this one. This one says a store clerk sold 10 Xbox games and four PlayStation games totaling $530 on a particular day. Another day, they sold two Xbox games and nine PlayStation games totaling $270. How much of each type of video game do they cost? 
or how much did each type of video game cost? So this time we're not looking for the quantity of tickets like we were on the last example. This time we're looking for the cost of the two items. So this one will be set up just a little different. Now we gotta pick variables here because we're comparing Xbox games and Playstations. So again, we can pick any variable we want. Maybe I pick X and P. So I can keep track of which one's which. And in this case, it's the combinations on these two days are going to set up equaling the money that they made for each day. So for the first day, we had 10 Xbox games plus four PlayStation games. And we're gonna set it equal to the total amount of money they made. 530. Our second equation is actually going to follow that same format. On the second day, they sold two Xbox games and nine PlayStation games. And in this day, it was a total of 270. There's your two equations. Your two variables are in there. And from here, you can do either substitution or elimination. Because there's coefficients in front of all of your variables, elimination would be the route to go.